Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Unfortunately, we are knee deep into cold and flu season. I work at a school and illnesses have been going around. And unfortunately, my son and my daughter both got hit around the same time at our house. So now that everybody is finally feeling better and feeling back to themselves, it's time for this mama to get knee deep into deep cleaning. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do to keep everybody else, me and my husband, from getting sick and from the Ill illnesses not returning or coming back. What I do to sanitize everything. So the first thing I do, which everybody already knows, I clean all the bedding. And I mean all the bedding. So my daughter's bedding, of course, is gonna get washed, her comforter and her um, sheet, and then her stuffed animals. And then my son, all of his items are gonna get washed. His comforter, his sheet, um, he doesn't have any stuffed animals. Anything that I am unable to wash in the kid's room, Brooklyn has a rocking chair in her room. And then Dominic, like the actual pillows, I will spray with a disinfectant spray. You can find all natural ones. I use kind of a Lysol type one. And that's just what I do. So I am going to spray my anything that I can't wash with those. In addition, I always clean me and my husband's beds because everybody is always in our room. Brooklyn, when she gets up in the morning, she hangs out in our bed. My son is in our room watching his shows if we are downstairs, even though he has a TV in his room, but everybody just winds up in mom and dad's room. So first thing I do is to disinfect and clean all the bed. <laughs> I do every time we have had a bout of illnesses and I'm so bad with this. If I would do this before, I think the illnesses wouldn't spread, but I clean all of my light, um, out, like the light fixtures, not the fixtures, the light, like cutting on and off the light, the outlet. Is that the outlet? No, that's not the outlet. An outlet's where you plug in, but I wipe those down as well but I clean off um, all of my light switches. And one, and I wish I would do this before because of course illnesses, everybody coughs and sneezes, and then we all touch those. Brooklyn can reach them, most of them. So I always, I'm not that good at remembering to do it frequently. So they probably are like a Petri dish of germs. But I make sure I clean all of the light fi fix, not light fixtures, I'm saying it again. Light switches off the garage. I don't think I've ever cleaned it. You can call me nasty. We did have to get a new one this past summer. So that's the last time since it was brand new. Like I have never ever cleaned it. And we've been in our house a year and it'll be six months. <laughs> The next thing that 
I do is I like to deep clean my sofa. And you may say, girl, how are you deep cleaning your sofa? One, I will vacuum it, which I often do. And this other step, I am not that good at doing it. Like, it's so easy and I never do it. I will spray the whole thing with disinfectant spray, usually during a nap time, so nobody's like sitting on it or anything like that. But I will spray the whole thing down. If you are, if you have a sofa that the covers can come off, I would take them off and throw them in the wash in a hot cycle and air dry them if you don't want them to shrink or anything. But yes, I spray down my whole sofa all of the, my chairs, everything with the disinfectant spray so we can get all of those germs off because you know that's also a cesspool of germs and bacteria and whatnot. And usually when everybody's sick, where do they want to hang out? They want to hang out, chill, relax on the sofa. In addition to that, I wash the blankets and everything that is on the sofa as well. We have like four throws. I wash those because all the little sickies have been snuggling in those all week. So those need to be washed very bad. our toothbrushes and you could either buy a new toothbrush which is easy peasy especially for your younger one younger ones but I sanitize our toothbrushes and this is another thing that I don't do that often and I'm horrible with doing so you can either run it through a cycle in your um you can run it through a cycle in your dishwasher or you can also use peroxide to swish the toothbrush around and that will sanitize it and then rinse it off very thoroughly with um, water. But um, yes, sanitizing your toothbrush or if you have a plethora of toothbrushes, you can just toss your old one and put out a new one. But sanitizing your toothbrush is so important and I we don't do it enough. And I don't think, I don't know about you guys, but I'm horrible with throwing out my toothbrushes. We have the electric ones, the kids have the regular ones, throwing them out every three months. I think we're disgusting. We probably go like six months. I'm sorry, it's gross, but. <laughs> Brooklyn's toys. This is another thing that I just simply don't do enough. Enough. So I am going to go, especially after an illness, I like to go through and sanitize all of the toys. If it's something plush that I can wash, I throw that in the wash. If it is not, I just spray it with a little bit of disinfectant and I just leave it out to it. <laughs> so much for watching this vid this video i hope these tips will help you get your house all clean after after cold or flu has hit your little ones or you guys um if you love this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next one bye